Hi everybody, this is AJ with Car Inspected and today we are way out in Kingston, Ontario and we're looking at this 2014 Cadillac CTS4 the 2 liter turbo it's got 156,000 kilometers on it overall it's in pretty good condition uh, I did a paint thickness verification throughout and I don't see any signs of major accident or repaint or anything like that all looks pretty good now throughout the car there are a couple dings and dents uh, one biggest dent being right here on the fender uh, as you can see in the light it's not too big but that's probably the biggest one on the car down the sides everything looks pretty good there's a couple of very light uh, all these things that you might see this is all like spider webs and stuff so no big deal there's a couple of little tiny scrapes like this on the sides some little ones here nothing too big at all though I don't see any major damage a little bit of a rub right here if you can see that in the Sun it's barely noticeable but there is a little bit of a rub right there roof looks good has the uh, panoramic sunroof if we get to the back tail lights all look good nothing's broken there's a little bit of scratching along this surface you'll probably see better photos uh, the Sun is getting a little glarier at this moment but there are some scratches from people loading things in and it looks like there is a slight wobble. It's very hard to see in this back bumper now. I'm being pretty picky. You can see it in the right, right about there. So it might have somebody might have bumped something. Didn't scratch the paint or anything like that. But there is a little the bump in the past. This tail light looks good. As I said, paint is uh, same thickness throughout. No major issues. Another little ding right here. This is the driver's side rear quarter panel. You can see that guy right there. And a couple of little tiny scrapes along this side as well. Again, nothing big. Just some very minor things. A little bit of rubs here and there. Uh, there's some chipping on the driver's side driver's door. As you can see in the end there. So a couple of scratches and then some chipping on the inside there. Nothing else major. Uh, a little bit of a rub right here in the mirror. Again, most of these things are just kind of little rubs and no big deal. Front fascia, headlights look good. Grill looks good. I don't see any signs of major damage. There's the shot. Said everything looks pretty good. A little bit of a ding right there. As we go up, the hood looks good. There's no major chips or any issues like that. Hood looks nice, nice and straight. Gaps all look good, by the way, throughout. Uh, but there was no accidents or anything like that, so we're not overly worried about that. Windows uh, seem to be all in good condition, and all our original GM windows. That goes for windshield, side wood glass, rear glass. Everything looks pretty good. Now, tires will start up here in the front. This is the passenger side front tire. We have a 2017. Pirelli, they are all matching Pirellis. The front ones have about 930 seconds to tread. Looks nice and even, no signs of issue. Not many kilometers on them. Uh, the rims, pretty much all of them do have decent sized curb rash around, a little, little corrosion starting here and there. No major damage, uh, no structural damage it doesn't look like, but uh, there are, is some curb rash there. Brakes in the front are brand new. Uh, presuming the dealership just replaced them because they are literally brand new so 100% underside I see no signs of issue uh, axle boots control arms everything looks to be nice and not damaged no leaks no rust everything looks pretty clean underneath you'll see I took a bunch of photos to show you how nice it is underneath no major issues Rear differential isn't leaking, anything like that. Here we are to the rear tire. This is the passenger side rear tire. And again, we have a matching 2017 Pirelli. These back ones have a little less. There's about uh, between seven and eight, 30 seconds of tread in these rear ones. They also look nice and even though, no signs of issue. This rim doesn't have too much curb rash on it. Mostly a little bit there, but mostly just some, some corrosion spots here and there. Nothing too crazy though. Rear brakes are also pretty new. They are not brand new, but they are pretty new. 
there is, I'd say, 75 to 80% left on these rear rear brakes. Underneath also looks pretty nice. In the back, again, no signs of damage or issue, rust, or major leaks, or anything like that. All looks pretty decent. We'll go around to the driver's side. This tire is a, again, a 2017 with between seven and eight, 30 seconds of tread on them. They look pretty decent. No signs of damage or issue. This rim, again, has a decent amount of curb rash here, around here. Other than that, though, they look okay. Again, rear brakes are matching, say, 75 or 80% on these back ones, so no signs of problem. On this side, undercarriage is the same as the rest. Looks nice and clean, none of the plastic's broken, nothing's leaking, nothing's rusty. All looks pretty good. And this final driver's side front tire is again a matching 2017. Uh, there we go. With about 9 to 10, 30 seconds, uh, pretty new. This tire probably has the most... Uh, it's not, I mean, I don't know about the most, it's a hard judge, but uh, there is some scratching on this edge too, some curb rash. A little bit of a chip out of there. But again, I don't see any cracks or any major issues. I do see a, looks, I just noticed this lug here is, looks like it was tightened and damaged through or something. So that is a, that is there. That's just the cap that it kind of somehow tightened through or something like that. Brakes up front are brand new, again, just like the rear. I mean, just like the other side. Underneath here, everything looks pretty good as well. No signs of issue. We'll go through the interior, which all looks pretty nice. Inside the trunk here, we have no issues. Everything looks nice and clean. Tow bar, wheel lock set is in there. Security net. And everything looks pretty good. Battery is under this side. Looks to be in good condition. Uh, I forgot to test that. I'm gonna have to test that after the video. So you'll see that in the in the photos. Passenger compartment in the rear. Looks pretty nice. I don't see any major wear and tear. All the trim looks good. These Privacy curtains all look good, not ripped or anything like that. Door panels look pretty nice. Seats are pretty good, maybe a slight cleaning. There's a little bit of a, let me drop some kind of liquid there. But they all do what they should. They open and close without any issue. Carpets look nice in back. A little bit of kick marks there on that seat. On that though, it all looks pretty good. There is a very slight I don't know, animal smell. It's very slight. I noticed it mostly in the trunk. Nothing to be worried about though. I think uh, just with a decent detailing, I don't think it would be a problem. It's, like I said, it's very, very light. Headliner looks good as well. No signs of issue. Then up to the passenger side front. This door panel looks pretty good. There are a couple of Marks from fingers, I guess, hitting the leather as you uh, open the door. Nothing too crazy, but they are there. Other than that, though, everything looks pretty nice. Passenger side seat, uh, all the power options, seats work. Not too worn, bolsters look decent. A little tiny bit of wear, but nothing too crazy. All looks pretty good. Carpets look nice. The dash top. Also looks pretty good. Uh, the only thing is this carbon fiber trim here. If you follow it till the end, it is peeling up right here. So that's peeled up. It needs to be some kind of a glue or something. You could probably secure it down, but it is sticking up right now. Glove box is all in good shape, and the original owner's manual is in here with no issues. Oop. Go over to the driver's side. Oh, there, let me, uh, I want to mention, you'll see photos, but there is a little bit of, like, like the clear coat wearing on these, on these door top pieces. 
Again, the photos I think we'll probably see better, but that is there on both sides a little bit of It's up here as well It's kind of a peely fading clear coat on that plastic Driver's side rear door again curtains look good. No issues door panel looks nice Not much wear and tear not much in the back wear and tear at all. I don't know if I don't think the back's been used too much Rear seats look good. And again, everything folds down just as it should. Carpets look good back on this side as well. We are the driver's front. This door panel looks pretty good. Uh, trunk lid button works. There are some, again, finger marks there. The Switches all look good, trim, everything looks nice on this side. Dash looks good on this side as well. Carpets, very minimal wear on this driver's side seat. The power does work. Uh, like I said, very minimal wear, a little bit on the bolster here. Not too much at all though, everything seems to look good. We get into the car, we see that the dash all looks pretty nice. No signs of issue, all these little doors work as they should. Just kind of touch them and they open and close, pretty nice. And uh, so all looks good. Shifter boot, all that stuff looks good. There is some wear on this center console here. It's minimal, but it is there. Inside here all looks pretty nice. Dash looks good. I mean, uh, this thing, steering wheel. <laughs> looks good, no wear and tear, no major issues. A little, a couple of little kind of marks there. Very slight though. Other than that, everything looks pretty good. We'll start it up. Seems to run well. As you see, all the screens come on as they work. Now you can hear the stereo is on. Uh, the volume buttons here, they do what they're supposed to do. The down one is a little more sent, like it's a little harder to see how it's not quite. It works, but it takes a little more. It's not as, uh, this one is very sensitive. As soon as you touch it, that any issue. This one you kind of got to hold a little harder. So there is that. Uh, everything else seems to work fine. We can turn the music off. And everything else does seem to good. Touch screen works. Maps come on. It takes a second. Oh, there we go. So climate, all the touch screen stuff, as you see, everything does work as it should. AC works, heat works. So all these options work and all these switches do exactly what they should as well. So all that stuff does seem to work. Uh, we do have the heads up display, which I don't know if you can see. Oh, the AC is blowing hard now, hold on. There we go. So the heads up display is there. Everything is here. So like I said, everything does seem to it's blinky. Uh, it's only because of the video, though. It is not blinking in real life. And it, we have all the uh, parking assist options, etc. All these things seem to work. Uh, I will test them on the test drive. And also we have all these steering wheel controls, which also seem to work. Kitty steering wheel works. I tested that already. And I will test the uh, all the other options as well but everything seems to work as it should. All these things also work. Uh, everything looks good up here. I'm not gonna hit the OnStar, but everything is working, looks like it's working. Sunroof operates. as well as all the windows. So all that stuff does seem to work just as it should. I'm gonna shut the car off and look under the hood real quick. I also, I ran OBD scan. Uh, we don't have any current or major codes. We have a couple in recent histories. It was probably serviced 
and the codes were probably taken care of. That's why they're in recent histories. But there is no issues right now. So here we go. Engine looks to be in good condition. Uh, there is a bit of a leak on the front here that you can see. Uh, the timing cover looks like the gasket's leaking. So that should be probably taken care of fairly soon. Belts, hoses, all that stuff looks good though with no signs of issue. Uh, oil under here looks nice and clean. No frothing or major issues. I tested your coolant. It looks nice and clean and good to negative 43, so we have no issues there. Like I said, I'm going to test the battery after the video. Uh, I forgot to do that before. Brake fluid is at 0% humidity and looks nice and clean as well. Uh, here we are on this side. I don't see any leaks from the turbo coolant, anything like that. Everything looks pretty good. Everything except that leak on the timing cover. So there we have it. Um, I test your oil, test your coolant, and uh, yep, I'm gonna test your battery as soon as I'm done with the video. Other than that, it looks pretty clean under here, seems to run smoothly. We're gonna take it for a ride, see if it still rides like a Cadillac. As usual, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.